What if we wanted to determine the name of a skeletal structure? We're going to look at just two examples and I'm going to help show you how we can carry out this naming process for it. The key thing is to remember that each of these points here represent a carbon atom. So I'm just going to draw them in for argument's sake. We can see that there are up to four carbon atoms in the longest chain. This is going to be called a butane. Bute meaning four carbon atoms uh, and ane being an alkane. In order to work out the alkyl groups, I'm just going to say the longest chain is going in this zigzag pattern here. I have a methyl group on that carbon and just remember that the carbon to hydrogen bonds aren't shown but there would essentially be three uh, carbon to hydrogen bonds there. This is a methyl group. We also need to number the carbons so that this group or these groups have the lowest number. So you might realize that I would need to number from right to left. So this tells me that this methyl group is on carbon 2 and so the name is 2 methyl butane, and you really don't need to worry about the, the hydrogens that are bonded to the rest of this structure. As one more example, so it looks a little bit more complicated, but it works in the same way. Uh, work out the longest chain of carbon atoms. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So six carbon atoms, the parent chain is called a hexane. We're going to identify our alcohol groups and to do that let's just put in the carbons. So we would expect that there is a methyl group here and a methyl group here. Let's just draw in those bonds just to confirm that. So we can see that these are three um, uh, hydrogens bonded to the carbon so these are methyl groups. And then we need to number these carbons so that these groups have the lowest possible sum. And to do that, we're going to number from left to right. So we have two methyl groups positioned on carbon 3. So this will be called, I'll rewrite this out. The name is 3,3-dimethylhexane. So far we've learned how to systematically name for a range of hydrocarbons, and in particular just alkanes. If we want to learn how to draw from the systematic name, it's actually much easier than the naming process. There are uh, four rules that we need to follow, and, and so we need to interpret the name. From the name, what we do is we draw the longest carbon chain, and that's based on this parent name. The second rule is to then number the carbons. Third step is to attach alkyl groups to any of those carbons. And then finally, we just add hydrogens as needed so that we uh, ensure each carbon atom has four covalent bonds. Our first example to learn about drawing, we've got here 2,5-dimethylheptane. We're going to start off by drawing the longest carbon chain based on the parent name. The parent name is heptane. That tells me that there are seven carbon atoms in the longest chain and that it's an alkane. So let's go ahead and draw those seven carbon atoms in the longest chain. I've left these other bonds just open so that we can then complete them in the next step. But just remember that every carbon atom must have four covalent bonds. And I really can't stress that enough because it's a, a place where students can often make mistakes. Step two, Let's number the carbons, and the easiest way to do that is from left to right. So 1 through to 7 there, showing us it's a, a heptane. Third step is to then attach any alkyl groups. We can see here that it is a dimethyl, so it means that we've got two methyl groups, and they are positioned on carbons 2 and carbon 5. So let's add the methyl group on carbon 2 and 5, and finally, the last thing we need to do is just add hydrogens. So any of these exposed bonds now should receive hydrogen. So we're just going to fill all of them up with hydrogens and we've got our structural formula here. One more example with this. Uh, so this one looks a little bit tricky but it's actually quite simple again. So first step is we need to work out what the parent name is. 
and draw the longest chain of carbon atoms. And that's just taken from this ending here, which is hexane. That tells me that there are six carbon atoms in the longest chain. Draw in all of the other bonds. The second step now is to number the carbons. And this is something that you might want to do directly. But once you get confident enough, you don't need to show this. Next, we need to add in any appropriate alkyl groups. So we can just start off with the first one here, which is an ethyl group on carbon three. And to do that, I'm just going to break it up. So the first carbon atom has two hydrogens. The second one has three hydrogens. So there's our ethyl group there. The next groups, we've got uh, a methyl group. We've actually got two methyl groups on the second carbon. So that's why we've got the two comma two and it's a dimethyl. So let's add a CH3 group to the second carbon. And then finally, we just need to add hydrogens to the re remaining bonds. And that's basically it.